Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to separate multiple song projects in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here that has three songs recorded into it. We have some drums, bass, a guitar, and vocals. And we recorded the three songs one after another. Now that we're done, we want to separate them into multiple projects. So we can add different overdubs to each song and also mix each song separately. And we also want to consider file structure. We want a separate folder for each song with just the audio from that song with each project. This way each project is only as big as it needs to be. And we should also note that each song in this project is a different tempo. This one is 100 beats per minute, this one's 110, and this one's 90. So I want to keep that in mind as we separate each project. So the first thing we're going to do is open a new project tab. Let's go up here on the file and choose a new project tab. And we're going to change the tempo of this to 100 beats per minute, which is our first song right down here. Now we'll go back to the main project. And we're going to select all the tracks in this project and copy it over. Now this track up here, I just created to make it easier to see which song is which. You don't really have to do that. But one good thing about doing this is that each one of these items is on the downbeat of the first bar. That does make it a bit easier to line things up later, as you'll see. So let's select all our tracks. Let's copy them. And let's go to that new tab we just created. Now we're going to paste it into this project. And we're going to notice each one of these audio files in song one is not time stretched. But these ones over here are because they're the wrong tempo and Reaper stretched them to fit this song tempo. But that's okay because we're not going to keep these anyway. We're going to marquee select them for song two and three and we could delete them. So now we just have song one in this project. And again, if we look at the audio files, they're not time stretched. And because this song is only one tempo, we don't have to put tempo changes into it. We could just leave it as is. So let's create another tab for our second song. New project tab. We'll go back to the multi song project and note the tempo for song two is 110 beats per minute. So we'll change the tempo here to 110. Go back to the main project, select all the tracks again, copy them, and paste them into this project. And again, some of the files are time stretched, which is song one and song three, but song two is right, so we can leave that. So now we're going to delete song one and song three. And now we can move this over to the beginning of the song. Like I said before, this text item is right on the downbeat, which will make this easier. So with snapping turned on, and we can set it to full bars. We could turn on ripple editing for all tracks by hitting this twice. Then we can just drag this text item right to the beginning. I'm just going to leave it on bar three to give me two bars of intro right here. And now song two is the right tempo and it's separated from the main project. Let's go back to the main project again. And song three is 90 beats per minute. So we'll create another project tab. Set this one to 90. 
Go back. Select all the tracks. Copy. Paste. And again, song one and song two are time stretched, but we're going to delete those. Marquee select them all, delete them, turn on ripple editing, all tracks. And we could drag this over to bar three. So each song is separated. Song one, two, and three. But now we need to save it so that each song is in a separate folder. Let's go back to the first one and close it. Now, before we save this, we should go to the project settings. Right over here. And if we go to the media tab, we can set up a separate folder just for our audio files. This will make things neater when we save the project. So I'm going to name this audio files. We can close it. Now we'll go to the file menu and go to save project as. I'm going to put these songs in a folder called Reaper Projects, but you can put them wherever you want. I'm going to name this one song one. And this part's important. Go down here and choose create subdirectory for project, which is going to create a new folder for this song. And also choose this one here, copy all media into project directory. That's going to copy all the media just for this song into this folder. So again, we're keeping things neat. We're just bringing in the files from song one into this folder. So now we can save it, and it's going to copy all that media into a project folder called song one. And let's do the same thing to each one. We'll go to song two. We have to set up again our project settings, named audio files. And then we'll save as. Make sure these two are checked. Name it song two. And those are copied. And then finally, song three. Project settings, audio files. And then save project as. Make sure these two are selected. And name it song three. Now that's all saved. Now if I go to my hard drive, it looks like this. Song one, two, and three. And if I open them up, here's our project file for Reaper, and here's the audio folder that we created. So all the files for just song one should be in there. And they are. Bass for song one, guitar for song one, and so on. And it'll be the same for each one of them. Song two, here are the audio files, just for song two, and here's the Reaper file, and song three. Reaper file, and the audio files, just for that project. So everything's nice and neat and contained, and every folder only has the audio files for that song. So that's pretty much it. That's separating a multi-song project in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.